You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It is a Thursday, and I want to say hello to all my special friends out there watching. I know most of you are watching because of Amanda. But you have friends. That's so sweet. And two, they watch you? Two, three, What are they doing home at noon? Just hanging out? They go home every day yeah, for they lunch to watch you? Yeah, they're retired. People my age are retired. Oh, that's true. Yeah, well, a lot of people my age are retired. You're never retiring, yeah. though, right? I'm going to die right here. <laughs> oh, no, please On don't. On TV. <laughs> It would be so cool. Great for ratings. Though. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. we got a lot coming up on the show today. We have a packed show. you got to hang around. Plus, we're going to be talking about Tootsie Pops. That's right. Amanda's going to lick it. We're going to count how many times it takes her. Start counting right now while we check on the weather. You ready? All right. All right, let's start off. Well, at the noon hour, we are warming up. It's nice and toasty out there at 86 degrees in Myrtle Beach and Georgetown, 85 in Florence. Darlington, Marion, and Laurenburg, 84. Pleasant conditions out there for many of us so far. We're tracking a shower moving through Georgetown right over Winyah Bay at this point. Also, the sea breeze starting to kick in, so the temps along the Grand Strand are really maxed out for the rest of the afternoon. We're going to be also tracking some showers and thunderstorms across the PD and the border belt as we continue this heating through the afternoon. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast, especially for the inland areas through the late afternoon and into the evening hours. 60% chance for rain inland. A few showers and thunderstorms will also push over to the Grand Strand, developing along that sea breeze initially and then redeveloping as this line continues to work its way eastward later on tonight. So the rain chances are up for today, especially compared to the past few days. Our temps are down a few degrees over the inland areas with highs just shy of 90 degrees, maxing out in the upper 80s. Overall, looking for partly sunny skies and mid 80s down by the beaches for the rest of the afternoon. But keep an eye out for those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Better chance for rain coming in heavier at times during the day tomorrow. We'll potentially even hold on to those rain chances for your upcoming weekend because a front cold front stalled out across the southeast is going to keep us with some unsettled weather at times through the weekend. Looking at potentially two to four inches of rain possible over the next five days total. Not all in one day, not all day washouts each and every day either. More so seeing our best chances during the afternoon and evening hours, but between Friday and Saturday, with how saturated the atmosphere is, we can't rule out a shower at any point during the daytime hours. Sunday looks like it's going to be our drier day of the upcoming weekend. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. I'm Tracy Vreeland, executive producer at News Channel 15. Here's what we're working on today. The sole gang investor in a county where he says gangs are a major problem explains his passion for the job. As he says, the problem continues to get worse. A fire department will spend today and tomorrow saying goodbye to his assistant chief. Today, with a procession down Main Street, see how he's remembered. And we'll have an update on the flooding in an Horry County neighborhood as the rain moves in. That and more tonight on your news at 6 and 7. 35. 21. 36. 22. 37. 141 oh. times. That's how many times? A recent survey by some students at a college said it takes 141 times before you get to the Tucci roll. But a lot of people can't make it. I, they I have never, it. but maybe today is yeah, a lucky day. We're going to try it. We're counting it now. we got a giveaway coming up today. There it is right there, what we're giving away. We're giving away, let's see, two Frisbee, two phone holders, two water bottles, and some tickets. That's Amanda. right, tickets to the Children's Museum of South Carolina. Let me tell you, those might be handy this weekend. If it's raining, you get to go inside and have some fun with your kids. Okay. So. Be ready on your computer on our Facebook page. You That's can be right. the lucky winner. You can. All right, speaking of like Children's Museum and doing fun stuff, take a look at what I did this morning. Guess what I was doing? I was building Legos. There's a little uh, Ferris wheel that I built this morning. And there, Keith, the photographer, built that uh, futuristic car right oh, there. And there's, there's the whole gang that came out there this morning. But it's a lot of fun. It's called Bricks for Kids. And they have summer programs going on. They do after school programs. But it's really educational. And It's a cool place. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. You know, they kind of go anywhere. They do birthday parties and stuff. And I asked her if she'd ever done adult birthday parties because I'm thinking yeah. my husband would really like a Lego birthday <laughs> Party. He actually got up and watched I this morning and saw me doing Legos, minute, so and he was jealous. He got up and watched you? Yeah, and he was jealous because I was doing the Legos. So. I watch her all the time, Robert. Oh. I don't know what's wrong with you, son. I don't care. Come understand. on. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we got a great show lined up today, a lot of fun stuff, but it's something we got to talk about first. TV shows. Listen to this. Most anticipated new dramas on TV 
Hey, you're not going to believe this. We're talking about Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's on ABC. We've got that one, number one. All right. Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, ABC. Fox has got Almost Human. Dracula on NBC. The Blacklist on NBC. Sleepy Hollow on Fox. Intelligence. CBS only has one. The 100. Uh, that's on CW. The Tomorrow People. That's on CW21. And the originals on CW21. Now, that's according to TV Guide, the most anticipated dramas. And guess what? ABC and CW21, we've got five. Yeah, we how take about over that list. Yeah, okay. ABC, many, the top two, uh, 60. 60? Okay. All right, she's doing good. <laughs> Counting them up today. Don't forget, that's going to be a lot of fun. Wait, Here's how far do I have to go again? 141. 141 is the average. Okay, don't bite it. All right, today's Thursday, July 11th, and this is International Town Criers Day. Do they the British are coming. The British, I don't know what criers do. And it's also a good way, a good day to sweat. I sweat this morning. Should you have been hit, in my Zimba, hit, Zimba toning class at the Y. You hit that right. It's a good day to sweat. <laughs> Birthday today, 1953. Leon Spinks, you remember this guy, 60. He won the boxing championship <clears throat> from Muhammad Ali. 1987, John Henson, 46. He's the host of reality show Wipeout. Now, 1974, Little Kim, <clears throat> 39, singer and won a Grammy. For Lady Marmalade. Remember that? All right, on this day in history, it was 1952. Dwight D. Eisenhower, nominated as Republican presidential candidate. 1955. Congress authorizes all U.S. currency to say, in God we trust. Great job, Congress. I like that. 1985, Astros' Nolan Ryan, first to strike out 4,000 people. And he struck out Danny Heap from the Mets for his 4,000th. Everybody remember that. All right, from the know-it-all department, you ready? Ready. Of course, now, Tom Hanks played Forrest Gump. Uh-huh. But do you know who turned down the role? This is unbelievable. I couldn't believe this. I don't know. John Travolta, oh. Chevy Chase, and Bill Murray. All three of them. Yeah, life's a box of chocolates, and they didn't take it. <laughs> that was such a Can good movie. Can you believe that? I don't know. Hey, that's a great show for Tom Hanks. Yeah. Good job. Well, I'm Tom sorry. Tom did a great job in that John role. John and Chevy and all those guys, they just, they just didn't take it. And that... It's from the know-it-all department today. 78. 78. Hold on, I'm way back behind you. 34. <laughs> All right, we have a giveaway today. We're giving away two water bottles, two Frisbees, two cell phone holders, and four tickets to the Children's Museum of South Carolina. To win those, just go to our Facebook page, Amanda Cecil Carolina. You go over there, you click on the message button, and you answer this question right here. And the question is, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tucci roll? Do you know they make 64 million Tootsie Rolls every day in this country? That's a lot of Tootsie Rolls. Yes, just think how many licks it takes to That's do 64 a lot of million. Licks. All right, wow. if you know the answer, go to our Facebook page. Tell us you could be the lucky winner. Stick with us. We'll be right back. More jobs coming, but a new career builder survey found a lot of the growth will be temporary, with almost a third of employers planning to hire temp or contract workers before the year's end. Way more than we're looking to add temp workers this time last year. Now, if you're a California pizza kitchen person, say goodbye to the bistro look. They're redecorating to what they call a rustic, organic, and relaxed look as they try to stay current. Dunkin' Donuts and Wendy's among chains that have also announced new designs. And let me ask you, do you drive a hard bargain, any kind of bargain? Consumer Report says just under half of shoppers bargained for products and services over the past year. In 2007, three out of every five did. And you know what? It pays. The magazine found almost everyone who negotiated got at least one discount. Now, meantime, Sprint Nextel is dropping Nextel from its name. As it moves closer to being taken over by SoftBank, Sprint spent $36 billion to buy Nextel. At the New York Stock Exchange. I love the ward because I love the classes here. The instructors are wonderful, the staff is friendly. Everybody is, it's like a, being at home. Join the YMCA today. Call 449-YMCA. And welcome back to Carolina <laughs> and uh, Company Live. Hey, Man, yeah, welcome the to name the show. Of it. <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> Look at all the flowers we've got here today. We're talking about dandelion. They can make it happen for you. Anything you're talking about, 
Isn't this nice? Yeah, and you know it is wedding season. This is a great place to go for your wedding flowers. As a matter of fact, that's where I went for my wedding flowers. That's right. You sure did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you guys do a beautiful job. You yes. have brought so much. I want to start first. Let's start down front. I want to show that. That is so beautiful. A rose centerpiece for yes, a table. Yes, a rose centerpiece mm -hmm. right on the front down low. Yes. And, uh, you know, that is, now, anybody can get anything made they want. You'll help them do it. Yes, we can custom a piece. Somebody mm -hmm. can Google a picture and say, I like these flowers, I like these colors, um, I like this piece, and we can get it as close as possible. Or, you know, if you just tell us what your favorite color is and flowers, our designers will custom build it. That's yeah, I even brought in like a purple ribbon and gave it to you guys. So to match, we'll match it. Match it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Now, I like this one. This right? one? Yeah. A bridal yeah. bouquet. All right, leave it right there where you can get a picture of it. Yeah, okay. don't leave it right there where you can get a picture of it. That's a bride. And what all is in this? Yeah, what's um, in that You've one? got lilies and um, whoops, whoops. falling hydrangeas. <laughs> you have orchids, eucalyptus. Wow. Mm -hmm. so oh, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. All right, uh -huh. now, is this for a table or whatever you want to put it on or what? Yeah, you can put it on a gift table, uh, a dining table. I mean, uh -huh. right at your, for the guests to look at. Um, mm -hmm. I think it would be too small for your head table unless you have a yeah. tiny head table. Mm -hmm. Now, these <laughs> bridal uh, bouquets also? Yes. Right. Those uh -huh. are too? Hydrangeas, orchids. Uh -huh. Yep. And, and roses. Are really popular for weddings? Um, hydrangea, orchids, um, calla lilies okay. are very popular. That's what I had was a calla lilies. Calla lilies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Different things. Don't forget things. about the boutonnieres, too. Yeah. And I suppose, you know, Persons you obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and do um, weddings and then dances. You know, a lot of these kids go to dances. Proms, and homecomings. Sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, you get to put one of these on, too. Now, how long have you been in the flower business? Um, they've been in this uh, dandelion has been in the business over 20 years. All right. Now, how long have you been doing it? I've only been doing it two years. Two years? Mm -hmm. And you did all this? Oh uh, no, our designers did it. Your designers did. Nancy, it. uh huh, now, and Libby. Amy, that was for you to chance say, uh, yeah, I did it all. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't take chance, the baby. credit. <laughs> our designers this is, might be this watching. Is very, this is, <laughs> hey, this is very. You can put it. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, There's a needle that. in that one. Yes. I just found it, but these That's are how so you cool. Put it on. <laughs> so anything you're looking for, if somebody's getting married. <laughs> Just give you a call and you fix it up? We sure do. We take care of it. Yeah, you come in and you sit down with our designers and then we take it from there. And such a wide variety. You guys will get whatever people want. Too. Absolutely. All right. We'll tell, tell them where you're, where you're located. located. 451 Robert Grissom Parkway. And you can also go to the website danda dandelionlimited.com and you yes, can find all the selections yes. there. Amy brought all of this. Thank you so much. It looks great. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. We got a lot more coming up. This show is just getting started. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. It's Thursday. That means we're talking about pets, animals. Coastline Pet Supply is here. Tommy with all the answers and all the fun stuff you need to know. You got that right. When it comes to pets, Tommy knows all about it. He's always bringing something interesting, and he always has interesting facts for us. I know. Right, we're talking about you. flea circuses and yeah. uh, you know, well, What's birds. going on today, Tommy? Today we're going to talk about a sale we're going to have for the next two weeks right. on Blue Buffalo. They've come out with... Um, Two new recipes called Rocky Mountain. One's a bison flavor, one's a beef flavor. Um, for the next two weeks on their large bags, we're going to have $8 a bag off. Wow. Uh, medium sized bags will be $5 off, and even the small bags will be $5 off. And also their life protection formulas, which is most of their basic foods, their healthy weight, large breed, lamb and rice, uh, fish, potato, chicken, they'll all be $5 off their large bags. Okay. So we'll be doing that in the next two weeks. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. yeah. They also have a frequent feeder program you can sign up for. Uh, buy 10 bags, 11 bags free. Uh, we keep everything there at the store. You don't have to cut UPCs or keep <laughs> envelopes or mail stuff off. We do I it all like that because you know That's what? Good. I never can hold on That's to it. any card <laughs> that I have. I always lose it. I still have my car wash. Do you? Yeah, four seasons down. I search that. I get my car wash next week. There you free go. one coming. It's, dog food has changed. Uh, animal, you know, pet food has changed so much from the early days. Back when I had a dog, all we had was canned food. Yeah. Um, well, just like everything else, everything gets more sophisticated. We learn more about animal nutrition than we did years ago, and just like with people. And um, yeah, the dog food has gotten a lot more. Um, savvy than it used to be. I, I think mean, it's so yeah. interesting the push for nutrition in, in yeah. pet food. I mean, when I was a kid, our dog ate what we didn't eat. Right, you right. Know, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yes. That's true. You what, was your, what was your first pet's name? I had a Cocker Spaniel named Toy. 
Oh, wait. okay. And then I had a German Shepherd named Blitz that was, uh -huh. gosh, I was about 10 or 12, and that dog was probably two or three grades smarter than me. <laughs> that dog was remarkable. What did you have? Did you have a puppy? What was your pick? I did. Um, we had Buffy was my first oh. one. It was a Pomeranian, and then Cinnamon oh. was a Lhasa Apso. We had a rat chair. His name was Penny. Yeah, and uh, that was uh, that was my first pet. A little bullet with fur. That's it. That's right. It really was something else. But we always fed them off the table. Our dog. I mean, this is so good. We could probably taste this ourselves, couldn't we, Tommy? Is that pretty good? Actually, a lot of these foods are made in plants that are approved for human consumption. A lot of your canned food are actually made in plants that also make food for humans. So I'll pretty be. much the same thing, follow along the same lines. A lot of them, yes. Yeah. Same ingredients. Can you leave a bag of this for Amanda and I for lunch? <laughs> for tonight? lunch you throughout can. the week. <laughs> I've actually eaten quite a bit of dog food. It's life. probably healthier than what we eat. Some on of the a stuff we do basis. eat, I know it. I do it. Tommy, any advice for people taking care of pets right now? Especially in the summertime yeah. when it's fleas, hot. Fleas, fleas, fleas. You know, I have people come in. Well, I got fleas on my dog. Was well, your dog in the house? Yeah, he's in <laughs> you the house. In well, the you house. got him in your house too. Right. You know, they're just like going to the restaurant. They, they don't they just get stay on the on animal the to feed, mm -hmm. and then they get off. So it's just like you go into McDonald's, you go there and eat, and leave. The flea does the same thing. That's right. Dog. So come like see Tommy to at Coastline like Pet Supply. If you want to get rid of your fleas, you want some dog food, some great deals. He's got it all. Tom, thanks a lot for being on the show. Thank buddy. you. Yeah, check it out. Thirty-five thirty Northgate Drive, located right there at the back gate in Myrtle Beach. Coastline Pet Supply. Stick with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. Look at the audience today. Look at today. the group right Look here. Out. Yeah. There they are. All right. We've got a packed house today. We're talking about the Mitney Project, a really exciting thing going on. And we've got Leslie, Devine, and Gary here to talk a little bit about it. So you guys are working on a new community center. Yes, we are. We've been working to build it. We're running a fundraising campaign right now online um, at Indiegogo.com. We're trying to meet the terms of a matching grant that will help us to finish construction on the building. All right, nice. Where are y'all building? Where's it taking place? In, at? in Georgetown, South Carolina, Georgetown? in a community called the West End. It's the most distressed area. A lot of underserved residents live there. Right, now, all of these people, what do they what do they do? These are actually participants what? from our programs. Really? Um, we, uh -huh. we run a programs for youth and adults. Um, many 21st century learning programs like computer and financial mastery. We have dance for children. This is one of our dance students. Oh. Um, we have robotics and lots of things that teach people about critical life skills. Um, and cultural enrichment. Wow. That's really exciting to help, maybe help them get a job and exactly. a great future. Exactly. Right, so you dance, huh? You dance? Yes. What kind of dance do you like to do? Um, what's your favorite? Ballet, I like to tap. do ballet. Ballet? All right. Nice. Uh, Amanda's a dancer. Yeah, I like to dance too. I can only shag. That's all I can do. <laughs> That's the only thing I want to dance I can do. All right, now what, what's your role with this? I'm on the board of directors. Are uh, you? I, yeah, I'm a, a new member of the board of directors. They're fairly new, I, I suppose. Uh, it's a great project, um, building a community from the inside out. It's such a great plan. How did all this come about? Well, nine women got together. They are all professional women, and they were all individually helping, um, trying to work with youth in the, in the community. And they decided that it was better to take an intergenerational approach, work with adults and with youth at the same time. And they decided to put their efforts together and, and build a community center. Sure, well, look at some together. pictures now. When you get nine women together, believe me, it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, the women can make everything happen in this world yeah. today. Well, we've this got is the progress so yeah. far, right? Right, right. It's actually moved further along. We have a community partnership with the county, and we all now have the walls up in the rooms and the halls, everything. We're sure. getting closer, but now we're we looking to at opening. Well, hopefully in September, but we got to get the rest of the money to buy the materials. You know, that's what the what the campaign is about. How can, how can people help this watch? Well, we would love for people to go into Indiegogo.com and, and look up the West End Community Center and make a donation. Uh, we we have until the 22nd to meet the grant, meet the match um, of $101,000, and we still need. We have a, a donor today who said if we raise $10,000 based on this show, they'll put in another 10. Ooh, wow! So that means right by, the, by the 31st, we'd only have to raise an additional 40, so we'd, we'd make it. Oh, that'd right. be really and, exciting! And they can, go to the, can they the can they find the link on the Project. Yeah, on the or very mm -hmm. first page, if they go to T H E M I T N E Y Project dot O R G, the link to the Indiegogo campaign is right on the first page. So now's the time to get on there and help out. We can get this thing finished Please, up. We'd love it. We'd uh, love wouldn't it. that be great? If you had Twenty thousand dollars just by coming on the yes. show, right? That's yes. what it would be. Well, Amanda's gonna donate her great. salary. <laughs> 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 it, it, it won't even get you there, but <laughs> 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 thank you all so much for being on the show. Thank you for having yeah. us. You want to be a dancer when you grow up? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good luck to you. All right, check it out. The Mitneyproject.org. Donate some money. Help out. It's a really great cause. And stick with us. We'll be right back. Coming up at 5, Dr. Oz, approved detox plan. Check it out, 7.30 tonight, entertainment tonight. And 9 p.m., motive, going to be a good one. 10 p.m., rookie blue. 9 a.m., Rachel Ray will be here, and you got to check that out in the morning at 11, the view, and at 12 noon, Amanda. Carolina and Company Live. Welcome back to the show. 85. All right, the answer to the question, 141. We're not quite there yet. I lost That's count, right. but Cecil's been counting. All right, congratulations to Denise. Collins, you are a giveaway Nine. winner today. You win this stuff from Good Sir Potter Promotions plus the Children's Museum 92. tickets. Have fun there. It's going to be a great place to go this weekend. Thank you for joining us. Everybody say goodbye. Uh-oh. I bit it. I bit <laughs> it. See you tomorrow.